Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing kind of like a sit down, just talking video and this is, I did this video last year and you guys, I didn't think that anyone would honestly like it and you guys requested me to do it again, so I'm just gonna kind of like run through and tell you guys about my day honestly, so if you, this isn't like a beauty video or anything, it's just me talking and telling you guys about my day, uh, maybe giving you kind of an idea on what to expect, you don't have to watch this video again because it's not like what I usually do, but you guys requested me to do one of these again this year, so basically I'm just going to be telling you um, my day, so I didn't want to take my bag with me because every school is like so different, but with us, we don't take our bags to classes, we keep them like in our lockers, but you have to go to homeroom the first week, and you don't know your homeroom, so like you have to go to school, find out your homeroom go to homeroom and then you sit in there for a little bit and then you like get your locker combination and then you like go to your locker and then you just kind of sit in homeroom for a while and then you like have your regular schedule so I didn't want to take my book bag with me because I didn't want to carry it around like the whole school with me while I was figuring out my homeroom and my locker and everything I just didn't want to carry it with me so all I brought was a folder and this is just black because yeah so I just brought a black folder with a pencil obviously that's all I brought and I just brought like five bucks for lunch but I mean some people it honestly it's not like uh, like some people brought a book bag some people did it it's completely a personal preference I just really didn't want to carry it but um we have like freshman orientation but I'm a sophomore so we don't have time to like take all of our stuff in and I didn't feel like taking all of my supplies on the first day so um, I'm just probably going to take like a few folders at a time like throughout the first week because I don't want to like go in with like a huge book bag and like lug it and like have all my stuff in it. So anyway, so I'm going to actually get on my schedule because I have no idea what my classes are. Um, if you, I did an outfit of the week for my first week and I did a getting ready with me. Those are like the three videos, like, after the week for my first week, uh, getting ready with me for the first day, and then this video about just a vlog of my first week. I don't know, like, what order these are going up in, so I'll link those other two videos down below. Um, they might be up before this, might be up after this, but whenever those are up, I'll link it down below if you're, like, wondering what I wore or how I did my makeup or anything. So, first period, well, we were in homeroom for, like, 40 minutes, but the rest of the week it's only for five minutes. And my school is from 8 to 2.50, and it's really annoying because it used to be 7.50 to 2.50, and we had four minutes in between classes, which already isn't a lot, and now we only have three, which is, like, nothing. Like, think about if, like, you're in a class down here, and then to go up to your locker, get in your locker, put your stuff away, get stuff for a different class, and go all the way back downstairs, like, in three minutes. Because, honestly, some teachers don't even let you out right after the bell, so... I don't know, three minutes is just, like, not a lot of time, but I had history first period, and not gonna lie, um, there's two history teachers. Your sophomore, you can either get the teacher that I have, or you can get the same teacher that you had your freshman year. It's just random, and I got this teacher that I didn't want, but I actually, like, it wasn't bad at all. Like, I was actually really dreading his class, and he actually, like, has a personality. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's because it was the first day, but I don't know. He seems, like, fine, so... I was happy about that. I don't have, like, classes with any of my friends, but, like, I have history, like, with Ashley, and I like Ashley. Um, I think she watches my videos, so shout out. But, um, like, I have that with her. Like, I don't have any, like, my best friends in my classes, but I have, like, people that I like and I'm still, like, friends with, so, I mean, that's good. And then second period, I have gym, and I have that with Olivia, and I think Lexi's in that too. Um, these this doesn't mean anything to you. I don't know why I'm telling you this, but there is so many people in my gym. I walked in, and I mean, you guys don't know how big my school is, but like it was the whole gym. Like, there's like benches that come out, and like the whole like front row was filled from like the entrance of the gym to like the very end by the boys' locker room. Like, I don't know. There's so many freshmen in my gym. I can't. I literally hate that class so much. There's a few like girls that I like. But other than that, I hate that class so much, and my gym is literally all freshmen, and it, oh my gosh, it was horrible. I'm going to die, but luckily gym's, like, only a semester class, so I only have it for half the year, and I'm glad that I'm getting it over with in the first semester. And then, third period, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, I have study hall, but Tuesday, Thursday, I have ACT prep, 
and our first day was today which was a Tuesday so I had ACT prep and um, it's my same teacher that I had for history of rock and roll and I really have no idea what to expect with ACT prep like I don't really know what we're gonna do like I don't know I heard that it's a lot of test taking in that class so I don't know I'm kind of not looking forward to it but I'm hoping it'll be kind of easy because I had that teacher for another class and she's a pretty easygoing teacher so hopefully that'll be like an A or a B grade. Um, then I had fruit, food prep which is just like a cooking class. I took food prep and parenting so yeah it's just like cooking and I have food prep this semester. I have parenting like second semester and I sit by Lexi. I have so many classes with her I just realized that but um I don't know food prep the teacher's actually like my neighbor, so I don't know. I mean, I know her, so that's okay. Um, then I have lunch study hall, which is really, it's weird. It's like a study hall, but it's during a lunch period, and regular periods are like 42 minutes long or something, and then lunch periods are only 20 minutes long, so it's a really short study hall. And then I have lunch, and this is probably really confusing to you guys, but we have eight periods in our day, and fifth period is 5A, 5B, 5C, and 5D. And these are all 20 minutes, like the 5th period classes are 20 minutes, and then every other period I think is like 42, I think so, yeah. Um, 5B I have lunch, and then 5C and 5D I have Algebra 2, and there's like literally no one in my Algebra 2, so, I mean that kind of sucks, but whatever, it's math, I don't really care. Um, then I have Study Hall, which I have with Lexi and Montana, and I'm literally at my Study Hall, I don't know who my Study Hall teacher is, for my one that I have third period because I haven't had that study hall yet because I have it Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'll have it tomorrow. But I'm pretty sure that my teacher for that is my French teacher and she like doesn't let you have your phones out. And the study hall that I have, sixth period, she doesn't let her have our phones out. And I'm actually super mad because like that is not affecting you in any way. And actually having my phone out can help me. Like if I need to Google something, like it's just, I don't know, I think it's so stupid when teachers don't let you have your phones out in study hall because sometimes I work better when I listen to music and it's honestly not affecting you in any way. I don't understand why it matters. It just makes me so mad when teachers do that. I think it's so annoying and both of my study hall teachers, I don't think are going to let us have our phones out so I'm really annoyed. Um, seventh period I have English too and I'm pretty sure my English teacher like hates me because she's like the cross country coach and I used to do cross country and then I quit. And, I don't know, I do love my English teacher, like, as a person, like, I, I don't know. I really liked her when I did cross, but I'm pretty sure she hates me now, but, yeah. And then, last period, I have biology. That class is just, that class is just going to be so hard. I already know what it is, and I'm just really not looking forward to it. But, she's also my homeroom teacher, so I kind of, like, had her in the morning. But, I don't know, that was, like, my whole schedule. I don't know why I ran through that, but, um, honestly, the first day, you don't need to, like, if you're, like, a freshman, I'm, like, a sophomore, so, I mean, this video isn't that helpful, but whatever. Um, the first day, honestly, no one even remembers what you wore tomorrow, so don't make, like, a really big deal out of it. Just wear some, a cute shirt and, like, jeans. Honestly, it doesn't matter. Um... Yeah, if you want to see what I wore, I did do an outfit of the week and a get ready with me. And again, I'll have those linked down below. Honestly, your first day, I don't know why everyone gets so nervous. Like, honestly, I get nervous too. But I don't understand, like, why we all get so nervous for the first day. Because it's the first day you literally go into a classroom and they just tell you, like, rules. Like, you don't actually do anything. So, it's not bad. The three minute thing, though, is seriously killing me. Like, three minutes is no time at all. So... That's going to be, like, really hard to get used to. My lunch is, like, the smallest lunch. We have, like, maybe 50 people in our lunch. There's, like, no one in my lunch. Oh, my gosh, it's so tiny, but I don't know. Whatever. So, I mean, that was my day, I guess. I don't really know why everyone liked this video last year, but I don't know. I mean, that was my day. It was honestly, like, not going to sugarcoat it. This was the longest day of my life. Last year, my schedule was, like, really easy, and I didn't have any, like, classes that were, like, horrible and that I really dreaded, but I hate my schedule this year so much, and, okay, so I didn't take French 3 this year because I, like, I don't know. French 2 was, like, really hard for me, and I, I don't know, I, like, I got a good grade in it, but when I think about taking tests, I feel like it was so hard, so then I was like, okay, I'm not taking French 3 this year, 
And I was, I was like, I know she's going to say something to me on the second day. I didn't make it to the second day. I was, like, walking down the hallway, and um, our lockers are on the same floor as the French room this year. Like, the sophomores are upstairs. And I was, like, walking away with, like, Brooke and Lauren, and um, she was like, Cecile, and that's my French name. And I was like, yeah, and she was like, come here, and I was like, what? And she was like, come here, and I was like, oh, my God. I was like, okay. Because I told her that I was going to do French three because I honestly thought I was going to. And then when I went, I had to drop History of Rock and Roll and add Parenting and Foods and Nutrition. And when I went, she told me that I couldn't fit it in my schedule anyway. So I told my French teacher that I couldn't even fit it in my schedule. So she was like, what do you have six period? Because that's when French three is. And I have a study hall all year. So I knew that if I told her I had a study hall, that she would be like, okay, I'm signing you up, come to my class tomorrow. So I was like, I have study hall, I looked at my schedule, and I was like, but I think I have parenting second semester, which I actually thought I did. I have no idea when I have parenting, but I have that study hall all year. And I was like, I don't know, I think I have parenting, and she was like, drop parenting, and I was like, oh, like, I don't know what to say, I was just like, oh, and I don't know, but I don't know, I was like, I don't know if I can because like the year already started and she said that there's no schedule changes and she's like oh I'll talk to her I'm like okay and Madison is like sitting with Sydney so I don't even like the only reason I would even do it was for Madison because she was like you can't leave Chantel because like Madison is like my best friend in French and we sat by each other like the last nine weeks which was so amazing but um I don't know I love Madison and I was gonna take French because I didn't want to like leave her by herself that's the only reason I even signed up for it and then, um, she told me I couldn't fit it in my schedule, so I was like, oh, okay. Which I don't understand. Me. Oh, it was because I had gym, sex period, but I changed my schedule, so I have a second now. And I just, I don't know. I literally told her I would ask Mr. Hammer. Like, I cannot believe I literally told her I was going to change my schedule. Like, all last year I was so pumped for this year because I'm like, yes, I don't have to take French. And I literally just told her I was going to take French. So... I don't even know what I'm going to do. I don't know if I'm going to tell her that I just don't want to take it. I don't know. I don't want to be mean and I feel so bad. And she doesn't even like me, so I don't know why she cares. But I don't know. I really don't know. That's like I'm seriously struggling. I don't know. Because I did French in 8th grade. So that way I could finish. Because you need 2 years to get into college. So I was like, oh wow, I'll get done my freshman year with my language. That's so awesome. So I was like sophomore year junior year and senior year i don't have to take a language and i don't know i think i might i don't know i really don't know i don't know but yeah that was basically my day i hope you guys enjoyed this video i don't know why um i don't know it got requested so i figured i would do it like i did it last year and you guys requested me a lot on my ask fm to do another like vlog on my first day and another outfit of the week for my first week so i am doing both of those and you guys requested to get ready with me, so I did all of those, so I hope that you guys like this video. Um, I know it was just rambly, and it was honestly just me talking about my day, but I don't know. I kind of like doing just, like, more personal videos of just me, like, sitting down talking to you guys rather than just always doing, I bought these clothes, you know. I don't know. I like doing talking videos, too. So, I hope you enjoyed, and let me know down below when you go back to school, and if you already did, tell me how your first day was, because... I had a really good year last year, like, like, I mean, I don't know, like, I had, my schedule was so easy last year that now, this was the longest day of my life, I'm not even kidding, but, yeah, I'm gonna sign off with that, so I love you guys so much, and thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe if you wanna make my entire life, you can just, like, press that button down there, it's free, so press it and also if you want to follow me on instagram and my ask fm they're always linked in the down bar and that's where i kind of ask you guys for requests and video ideas so be sure to follow me on there and yeah i love you guys so much and i hope you have a good school year if that's possible okay i love you guys bye